Sidon in Daniel chapter 10, verses 1 to 21. To the souls on the online read to podcast or YouTube channel on the we would like to suggest the three positional questions. Number one, verse three, I ate no pleasant food, no meat or wine came into my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all. Two, three whole weeks were fulfilled. What does it mean? And explain to fasting and praying in the scripture. And how can we apply it to our lives? Question to in verse 13, but the prince of the kingdom of Persia which stood me 21 days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. What does it mean? And explain the physical and spiritual world, and what can we learn from here? Question 3 in verse 19. And he said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not. Peace be to you. Be strong. Yes, be strong. So when he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, Let my Lord speak, for you have strengthened me. What does it mean? And what can we learn from here? Daniel 606 up to 506 before Christ had been carried away as a captive to Babylon by Nebuchadnezzar in 606 BC in Babylon's first captivity. Judah was a completely conquered by Babylon in 586. There he served in the government for about 60 years during the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Belshazzar, Babylon king, Darius Cyrus uh, is a Persian king. Cyrus the first time allowed the Jews to return to Jerusalem in 536 before Christ. Then about 5,000 Jews were returned to Jerusalem by Jedebada, the governor, Joshua, the priest, in the light of Ezra, chapter 52. Then Daniel stayed by the side of a tiger severe, now returning to Jerusalem, and wrote this final vision between the great spiritual battle between God's people and his enemies, such as the Prince of Persia and uh, uh, Prince of Greece, Greece, uh, Greece. Uh, in chapter 10, chapter 11, and the glorious return of the Son of God to establish the kingdom of God on earth, to chapter 12. So see the following reference to understand the background of this chapter. So right there, the picture, the map there, right? So Daniel chapters in the world of history right there. So all you know, big picture. So in the last time we covered Daniel chapter nine and twenty seven, uh, the great you know, tribulation, you may read them. So text first one. In thirty years of Cyrus king of Persia, the Masjid was revealed to Daniel, whose name was called Belteshazzar. The message was true, but uh, he appointed uh, the appointed the time was long, and he understood the message and had the understanding of the vision. Daniel lost the vision five hundred six before Christ is about the spiritual battle between God's people and those who are invading them. It covers the third year of Cyrus King Persia, 509 people Christ, and the appointed a long time. See above the chart beyond the way we are today, up to the return of Jesus Christ in glory to establish God's kingdom on earth. God's message is always true. That is, the scripture is always true or are not infallible in verse 31, 21. And Daniel understood the message from the vision. 
In those days, Kenya was the morning with full width. The cause of uh, his morning was not expressed. But when Kenya wrote this chapter, it was a light color, the difficult condition the Jews were experiencing when they first time returned to Jerusalem to rebuild the temple with Jerobabel and Joshua, or most of you have their own self-interests above the interest of God, such as to rebuild the temple. So whatever the cause, Daniel was a morning for three full width or 21 days, course reference uh, uh, right there. Then verse three, question one, I ate no pleasant of food, no meat, the wine came into my mouth, nor did I anoint myself at all. The three whole weeks were fulfilled. Then as the morning led to fasting and prayer, neither food nor <coughs> for the 21 days. This is prayer is a way of a prayers like the supplication or fervent prayer. Under special circumstances, so mourning, affliction, repentance, protection, or dedication, the spirit, nature leads our broken heartly prayer between into the fasting <coughs> prayer or the prayer with fasting to humble ourselves. So the bride and groom taken away in Luke chapter 5, 31, affliction. They were sick in Psalm 35, 13. The devil cast away uh, in Matthew 7, 18, 21. Repentance, turn to me with the, all your heart. In Joel chapter 2, uh, verse 12, protection, sick from him. Then right away for us in Ezra chapter 8, 21, or dedication before Jesus first to dedicate to the ministry on the earth in Matthew 4, 2, before Paul and Barnabas dedicated as a missionary in Acts chapter 13 to 3, uh, and us dedicated to prayer, waiting for Messiah in Luke 2, Fasting is only people God, not people people. Uh, fasting itself is not always required in Matthew chapter 9, 14, although prayer is always required in 6, 7, 17. However, fasting naturally comes out of our broken heart to the prayer as a way of a permanent prayer by the Holy Spirit. That's uh, here cross-reference, so source there. Uh, first of all, now on 24th, uh, fourth, fourth day of the first month, and I was by the side of the great river, that is the tigers. On 24th day of the first month, the Jewish lunar calendar, around the April, Daniel was by tigers living, not in the city of Babylon. Bible uh, just said, I lifted my eyes and looked and behold, a certain man clothed in a lamp whose waist was girded with gold upabat, the uh, jewel. His waist was girded with gold of upaga. His body was like the bell. His face like the appearance of light. His eyes like the torches of fire. His arms and feet like the burnished branch in color and the sound of his word, the light of the voice of the multitude. Daniel saw a certain man in Lenin with gold of the uh, Ufad, uh, his body was like a uh, bell, a kind of a uh, jewel, his face like a uh, uh, light, his eyes like a fire, his arms and feet like a branch in color, and the sound of his word, uh, like the much to the boys. Verse 7, And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision for the man who was with me, and he did not see the vision, but a great talent fell upon them, so that they fled to hide themselves. 
Daniel saw the vision, but the others, other, other man did not, uh, did not see it. People were afraid of it and hid themselves. Some viewed that uh, the man of this uh, vision was an appearance of Christ called the uh, other Christophany, because this is a similar John the Apostle vision about Jesus. Jesus himself said, before Abraham was I am. So Jesus was able to appear in the Old Testament. The appearance of Jesus in the Old Testament is called the Christophany, while the appearance of God in the Old Testament is called the Theophany. They also believe that Magizada was one of the manifestations of Jesus Christ. The others have the view that it was an angel because he required Michael's help in verse 13. In either, Daniel saw the battle between good and evil powers. I feel comfortable to the second view and also to Mary that as a fair funny rather than crystal funny. So uh, right here, close reference there. Therefore, I was left alone when I saw this great vision, and no strength remained in me for, for my fiery homelessness was turned to frailty or corruption in me, and I return, retained no strength. When we see the Lord, we see us as we are in the light of the Lord. We should fulfill the sin or the corruption. So when you see the Lord, or we experience the Lord, we debase our service. No person can be proud who has really seen the Lord. Throughout the Bible, wherever one really saw the Lord, it was a self-debasement or humble. When you see the Lord, it is a word to me, for I am a man of unclean, like Isaiah and so the poverty of the spirit comes from seeing God. The poor person's spirit is blessed. Close reference to right there. Verse 9. Yet I heard the sound of his words, and while I heard the sound of his words, I was in a deep slur on my face, with my face to the ground. When Daniel heard the sound of his words, on um, his face in, in a deep sleep, uh, he uh, fell down on the ground. First, then suddenly a hand touched me, which made me tremble on my knees and on the palms of my hands. The angel dispatched from God touched the trembling Daniel, giving the answer of his prayer to Daniel to understand the future, 11 to 12. And he said to me, O oh, Daniel, men greatly beloved understand the word that I speak to you, and stand upright, for I have now been sent to you. While he was speaking his word to me, I stood trembling. Then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for uh, from the first day that you set your heart to understand, and to humble yourself before your God. Your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. The man greatly loved was Daniel. The disciple whom Jesus loved in the Gospel of John was John. When you love the Lord mostly above any others, you are assured that the Lord loves you. So every Christian may be assured of that. The angel exalted Daniel responding to his prayer. Verse 13, question 2. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me 21 days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, 
for I have been left alone here with the king of Persia. We get an interesting insight uh, into the unseen world, the world of a speech that are opposed to each other, spiritual warfare that goes on between the angels of uh, spirit obedient to God and the fallen angels under Satan. This is the conflict between good and evil power. If a Satan can draw you into physical conflict, stay out the physical world, and stay back where you have the power in the spiritual world. There is the physical world and the spiritual world, which are very real, even if we can see the spiritual world by physical eyes, like unseen heart or mind. <clears throat> Why is it that you love the one, either an unbeliever or a believer, had not opened his heart? to Jesus Christ, the Savior, or to the whole council of God. Why is it that he is a stubborn magician? This world had been possessed fraudulently by Satan, called as the ruler of this world, the prince of the world, or the god of this world. Although the Lord ultimately owns the world, and Satan has been defeated by the Lord through the Jesus resurrection. The ruler of the darkness of this world has blinded your eyes that you cannot see the truth. But when you recognize the spiritual battle, not against the flesh and blood, resist Satan and rejoice because you stand fast in the faith Jesus lived in any skin of a Satan or his devil to the cross and disarmed the all principality and power triumphing over them. Here, the prince of the kingdom of Persia to conquer God's people or the evil power blocking the angel to deliver God's march to Diana for 21 days until Michael's health. Verse 16, 17. And certainly one having the likeness of the sons of man touched my legs, then I upon, opened my mouth and spoke the same to him, the speed before me. My Lord, because of the vision, my swords have overwhelmed me, and I have retained the most strength. For how can this uh, servant of my Lord Hope with you, my Lord, either for me, no strength remains in me now, nor is any breath left in me. Daniel had a poor heart in the spirit, no strength, nor any breath. Some thought that one having the likeness of the sons of man may be another angel from the previous one. Verse 18, then again, the one having the likeness of a man touched me and strengthened me. Some thought the one having likeness of a man may be another uh, angel from the previous one. Verse 19, and he said, O man, great is the love of fear now. This be to you be strong, yet be strong. So when he spoke to me, I was strengthened and said, let me eat my Lord still, for he had strengthened me. The peace comes from confidence that God is in control. The peace passes human understanding. The peace comes to those who live by faith or to the righteous people. Even in such a world or turmoil, peace be unto you, and the Lord said, be strong. Because the Lord stands in the king. Isaiah 41 10, so you know it. Uh, Fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am with God. I will stand in you, so the Lord stand in you. I will help you, I will uphold you in my righteous right hand, so that way we can be strong. Verse 20, then he said, Do you know why I have come to you? 
And now I much intensify with the Prince of Prussia. And when I have gone to indeed the Prince of Greece will come. Both the Prussia Greeks were against Dutch people, being represented by each prince or devil. But uh, our Lord is in control of the past, present, and future. Verse 21. But I will tell you what is noted in the speech of truth. The one opposing me against me, except Michael, your friend. All events, including this event, my matter, are recorded in the scripture, which is the truth. So we covered the author of questions. You may continue to answer from prayer for uh, missionaries so report there. Uh, also, uh, the calendar available in the first conference survey. Uh, the Thanksgiving uh, the gift there. Uh, so uh, let us sing all together Madame Sisson on Borussia. I hold him, I hold him. 